Welcome back to Barbecue with Greg. Let's put that meat on the grill. Let's get started. Welcome back, barbecue friends. Today, we're going to fire up the Napoleon Grills Kettle Grill. Now, what I got in the middle is my only fires rotisserie attachment. And what I just got a little different is a rotisserie basket that I just bought, and it's an only fires. Got this off of Amazon. Now what I liked about this basket, it's nice smooth surface. I figure it'd be easier for cleaning rather than a wire basket, but we'll see as time goes on if I'm right on that. Now when you think of rotisserie basket, right away you think chicken wings. But today, I think I'm gonna do something a little different. I'm gonna be cutting up some pork belly, putting that in here. Let those tumble around, let off all those juices. While those juices are beating light off, I thought I'd put some potatoes in with it. Let those potatoes get coated with all that pork belly oils and juices and deliciousness. So we'll see how this goes. I'll take you along with me. Let's get started. All right. Put the lid to the side. What I got here is my unburnt coals. I just put that in my chimney starter. Gonna put my instant fire cup down there, light that up. Now you can see I got my two half baskets here. That way my heat is not directly under the rotisserie part. Now I got this pork belly from Costco. It comes in these strips like this. This is actually half a pack. I had it in the freezer. So what I did is just thawed it. We're gonna cut it up in some cubes, season it up here. There we are, it's all cut up. Now I'm just gonna use my go-to barbecue seasoning that I use for pork and chicken. It's a TBQ's barbecue sauce. Sorry, it's a TBQ's barbecue rub. Just mix that in, coat all the pieces. There we are, we'll just let that all sweat in like that. Now before we put everything on the basket, I just want to make sure I got this catch in the right spot here. So it's going to fit in the motor approximately there there that looks pretty good what we're going to do put the rod through our basket here now we need to find where it needs to be on the grill same kind of thing we're going to want that somewhat in the center there then we'll tighten our thumb screws to open the basket there's a little clip here you just lift that one on the other side, lift that, opens right up. Look at that. So we'll put all our pork belly in there. We're gonna add some potatoes. All right, our coals are lit here pretty good. Just gonna kind of dump it into each basket here. Try to even off the heat on both sides. There we have it. A couple pieces of cherry wood, a couple chunks in there. All right, let's fill our basket here. We got our cubed up pork belly here. We'll dump that in. Now these are gonna shrink up throughout the cook here. I do want these to tumble around. I don't wanna overcrowd it, so. See how many potatoes I can fit in. Now I got these small round potatoes. I figured they would roll around here better. Heck, let's just put it all in. We're trying something new here. All right, so we'll close our lid. 
snap our clips down, hold everything in place. All right, moment of truth here. Let's get a rotisserie basket in there. Get that rotating. All right, put our lid on. Now I'm just going to leave the vent just open a crack here. I don't want a high temperature. We're just going to leave everything go as is for about an hour or so. We'll come back, check on it. I'll see you then. All right, everyone. It's been one hour since we had this on the grill. The smell coming from this is just fantastic. Right now, I've got a dome temperature about 450 degrees. It did spike up to about 600 degrees at one point, but I just kept the lid on. We just kept going. I'll open this up. We'll take a closer look, see what we're going to do next. All right, you can see all those oils just coating that whole basket. Everything's just kind of flipping around. I'm sure those, I'm sure that pork belly is shrunk in size a little bit. It's given a little more room for things to move around. All right, maybe what we'll do now, we'll open the basket. We'll just do a temperature check on the pork belly, see where we're at. I'm telling you, this smells so fantastic. And we'll just stop this rotation when our hinge gets about here so we can open it right up. Okay. Use a piece of paper towel to lift that clip. That one on that side. Open this up. Oh, oh, oh man, look at that. Just everything's coated so nicely. Do a temperature check on this. Oh, we're 157. 160 on that one. We still got a little ways to go here. I'm going to close this up. Let it go for another half hour or so, and then we'll check back. Back on. Put our lid back on. We'll check back in a half hour or so. I'll show you what we got. Well, it's now been another half hour for a total cooking time of an hour and a half. We've got a dome temperature of about 300 degrees here. So in anticipation of this being done, we're going to make a bit of a sauce that I can put on top of that pork belly. This is my Valerie sweet sauce that I normally use for pulled pork. Works great on pork. Give it that. And probably equal parts of honey. Because pork belly does so well with sweet sauce. Just give that a mix together. And there we have it. Okay, let's go check the barbecue, see what we got. All right. Boy, the smell in here again. I just love the smell of this. Everything's just tumbling around nicely here. You can see I got a little more room in that basket now. There we are. Let's open up those clips. Oh man, this looks fantastic. Do a temperature reading here. Well, we're only reading like 160 on there. I could feel they're still a little bit tough. 169. 166. Okay, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to add a little more charcoal to this. Bump that temperature up and just probably another half hour we're gonna keep this going we want this done right i can feel while i'm probing it there's still a little bit of toughness to it so hey we're gonna do this i'm gonna leave the lid off until that those coals catch nicely then we'll put the lid back on and again we'll let it go for another half hour or so and i'll bring it back then all right we're now two and a half hours in Let's open this up, take a look, see what we got. 
we got a dome temperature of over 400 degrees now so that extra charcoal really helped all right get my paper towel here oh, oh, oh man does that ever look good oh man so soft too yeah we're up over 204 degrees here on this the interior here there's something that just magical happens when you reach that 200 degree mark everything just gets so pillowy soft all right these are done we're gonna pull these off have a taste test look at that it just looks fantastic all right let's take some out of here and we'll have a taste test just... all right here we have it here just smelling so great here i'm gonna put some of that sauce we made drizzle it all over top of everything uh, let's put some on the potatoes why not put that aside Let's take a bite here. Hmm. Oh, I'm telling you, that's so good. Let's taste these potatoes. Again, this is just rotating in with all that fat from the pork belly. Hmm. Again, just cooked perfectly. I thought maybe the potatoes were going to get too much cooked because of the time it took to cook the pork belly, but it ended up being perfect. I think the small round potatoes are way to go because they just fall through that rotisserie basket and the inside of the potatoes protected from that skin. Mmm. So good. And the pork belly. Such great flavor. Now, pork belly in particular, I love putting a sweet sauce on after. Again, cook that pork belly to over 200 degrees. Now, this is the first time I use the Only Fires basket on a rotisserie. What a great cook to start off with. We ended up being a good two and a half hours because we had to adapt to some temperature changes. In hindsight, I should have used a little more charcoal, but in the end, who can argue with these results? Well, if you like this video, I appreciate a smash that like button. And again, if you want to see more of these cooks, click that subscribe, and we'll see you next time on Barbecue with Greg. Thanks for watching Barbecue with Greg, one of those barbecue cooking shows people watch on YouTube sometimes.